AP Calculus AB Related Rates, the rocket problem. It says here that a rocket is shot vertically upward in an, with an initial velocity of 400 feet per second. Its height after t seconds is position is s is equal to 400 t minus 16 t squared. How fast is the distance? How fast is the distance changing? from the rocket to an observer on the ground 1,800 feet away from the launch site when the rocket is still rising and is 24 feet above the ground. So here's the problem that I think that we have. We have this, I'm going to call this, if you don't mind, LP down here, this launch pad. And our rocket's going to go straight up. And then we have this little observer guy over here. I don't know how smart it is to be observing. But anyway, he's 800 feet, 1,800 feet away. So 1,800 feet away. And what we want to know is, as this rocket increases in height, or as its height changes, what happens to the distance, the distance here? It says that our, the height of the rocket is this, so here's S here. This is a standard 1,800 feet, and this is, I'm sorry, it's not T, it's U, it's the hypotenuse. So what I'm hoping that we're in agreement on is that what we're looking for is this distance right here. So I'm gonna, I guess I'm going to start off with the distance formula because I, I like it a lot. And this is the hypotenuse, so I'm going to say that u squared is equal to s squared plus 1,800 squared. So I hope that that makes good sense to you. From, from there, I'm going to just start to work out a little bit um, what I'm looking for. I guess what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to get this thing. I'm going to try to find the derivative with regard to time of the whole thing. So that would give us 2u, right? du dt, I'm using the chain rule here, is equal to 2s ds dt. And of course, the first derivative of a constant is 0, so plus nothing. And then if you don't mind, I'm just going to do a little bit of algebra here. I'm going to divide both sides by 2 and just get rid of this, right? This Why did I do it? It's just algebra. So hopefully you're seeing here Right. What we want to know is how fast is this changing? So what we really want to know is what is du dt, right? How fast is the distance from the uh, the distance between the rocket and the observer changing as a as a matter of time? So I'm going to stop there for just a second. I'm going to start building this. We know that this right here is 2,400 feet, right? Because they tell us that in the problem. They want to know. The problem says. It says, how fast is the distance changing from the rocket to the observer on the ground? The observer is 1,800 feet away from the launch site when the rocket is still rising and is 2,400 feet above the ground. So we know that this is 2,400. So just as a matter of math over here, we can use the Pythagorean theorem and get that, that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, right? Pythagorean theorem, and that would give us 2,400 squared plus 18 100 squared is equal to c squared. Take the square root of both sides and we get c. That's u for us though, isn't it? u, wow, I said it, but I didn't do it. u is equal to 3,000 feet. So we have this distance here, right? That's the distance when this, the distance we are. But they're asking what's the rate of change. So from there, we're kind of at a little bit of a stop because Keeping in mind, again, what we really want is this. We want to know what this is right here, right? But now that we have some information, we can start filling in some blanks. U is three, when u is 3,000 feet, du dt, then s is 2,400 feet, isn't it? ds dt. And what we need now is we, we have kind of two variables in a weird way, don't we? and we need to get rid of this ds dt. Well, our function, the function that they give us in the beginning of the problem is that s is equal to 400 t minus 16 t squared. And we have to do two things. First thing we have to do is figure out at what time, so we can know what rate to assess the time, evaluate the time at, at what time is the rocket 2,400 feet, this 2,400 feet. And then we have to figure out that rate, don't we? So we can do it either way you want. I guess what I'm going to do first is find the time, find time where the rocket is 2,400 
feet, right? This is not a rate of change right here. This is the position. This is the height of the rocket at any time, right? And we would get negative 16t squared plus 400t minus 2400 is equal to zero. Could, what I did, to be honest with you, is I just plugged into my calculator, and I got that this is t is equal to 10 or t is equal to 15 seconds. And it says clearly in our problem, it says when the rocket is still rising. So we want to know when it's still rising. So when is it? It's going to hit 2,400. If it hits 2,400 feet once, it's probably going to hit it twice, So, unless it's the max. So this is the rocket going up, isn't it? So this is the T we're interested in. So think about this for a second. We know, we know when the rocket is 2,400 feet in the air. Now we want to know what the rate of climb is, and that would be ds dt, wouldn't it? The derivative, right? We want s prime at time, don't we? Is equal to ds dt, isn't it? And that would equal 400 minus, go ahead and take the derivative here, is negative 30, sorry, negative 32t, right? And now if you think about it, what we want is s prime at, and what is this, 400 minus, right, 400 minus 320, is 80, isn't it? Is 80. So, and what we did there was we took S prime at T and that equals 80, right? So check me out for a second. This seems, like doesn't seem great for a second, but it's terrific because look, if we go back up here, this is where we were kind of stuck, isn't it? We said we had two values here. We had DSDT here and we had DS, uh, DUDT here. But now we have DSDT at that specific time where the rocket is at that height. And now we just put this in like this. And it's 80. Right? So look at this. We're almost done, believe it or not. We have 3,000 DUDT is equal to 2,400 times 80. Right? Remember, we want DUDT. So we're going to divide both sides by 3,000. And it turns out that du dt, the rate of distance change at that time, is 64. All right? So I think that that really works out good for us. So it's 64 feet per second. 64 feet per second. And if you're taking the AP exam, remember, they want to see those units, you guys. So, okay, I hope this was really helpful. Um, we can definitely do this related rate stuff. So let's keep working on it. I think it's going to be great. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe.